Competition Clutch K-Series Clutch Install. Remove training. Make sure you remove the flywheel dust cover. Remove starter. Remove clutch slave cylinder. Remove the OEM clutch and flywheel. A trick to loosening the stubborn flywheel bolts is to tighten and loosen the bolt just a little bit with the air gun and then try again. We are installing a light and flywheel which helps the car to rev quicker. Always clean the flywheel with alcohol. Torque your bolts in a crisscross pattern. 76 foot pounds for a 5 speed, 90 foot pounds for a 6 speed. Be sure to take your time and don't strip any bolts. Install clutch. Install pressure plate. Follow instructions on this page to install the pressure plate with the correct torque specs.
Install throw up bearing. The reason for lubrication is it makes installing the transmission easier. Reinstall the transmission. Always finger tighten all your bolts so they don't strip when you hit them with the air gun. Install starter. Skunk 2 70mm throttle body. Install throttle body. If you're using an aftermarket throttle body, you may need to swap parts from the OEM throttle body. Hybrid racing fuel rail. Mount fuel rail. Don't forget spacers to make sure your fuel rail is mounted correctly or it can leak and cause a fire while driving. Chase Bay's mil spec harness. Install mil spec harness. The reason we went with the mil spec harness is because the components have a long term reliability over your stock wiring harness. It's designed like a race harness with individualized sensor wiring like a tuck harness, made for a very clean look. Drill hole for harness.
be sure you file down the sharp edges. This hole is for the Chase Bay's mil-spec firewall quick connect plug. Remove OEM mount studs. The trick here is to tighten the two bolts together to loosen the stud. Install a hybrid rear mount bracket. Remove OEM mount bracket from frame rail. Drill out spot welds. This is needed for the hybrid racing kit. Driver side frame rail mount bracket. Install frame rail mount bracket. Passenger side frame rail mount bracket. Use the holes on the right if you're using an EG subframe and an EK. Don't forget your spacers. Remove your alternator before install to help with clearance. Tranny mount. Install your tranny mount. Now the real fun begins. 